Hi, my name is Krista Popwich. I'm a Kaiser Master Trainer and a fitness professional. I'm really looking forward to today's workout, which is going to focus on the component of power. Now, power is a function of both force and velocity. And on your bike, you're going to find that the force is going to come from gears. We go from gear one all the way up to gear 24. Velocity is the speed that we're going to ride at. And we really want you to stay within the range of 60 to 110 RPM. So force, gears, velocity, our speed. It's measured in watts. So watts is really looking at an output or how hard you're working. The higher that watt number is, probably the harder that you'll find you're working. So focus on that throughout today's class. The other thing I want you to think about is good technique while you're riding. So we're just going to get started in our warm-up position. Body's nice and long on the bike. Thinking about really engaging through your core. We work with four hand positions as we're riding. We have position one, which is right here in an overhand position. Position two, right towards the hook of the handlebar. Position three, we're looking at an extended position. And then position four is slightly forward on the saddle, coming down low towards the handlebars. We call this a time trial position. Please feel free to work within any hand position that feels comfortable for you. Keeping those shoulders back and down, start to add some resistance. So bring up your gears by one or two. You want to feel like you are perhaps on the road, a little bit of a headwind. You can feel that tire gripping the pavement as you're riding. Good. Excellent. Now as you're pedaling, keep those heels down and focus on not just pushing down, but also pulling up. Good. Nice and even. As you look down at your computer, you can see that your top line is giving you your revolutions per minute. That's your speed or cadence. Your second line is your power, measured in watts. You'll see that toggle back and forth between power and also kilocalories. On your third line is your time, how long you've been riding for. And then, looking down, we have our gear on the left-hand corner and your trip distance on the right. So it goes RPM, watts, and kilocalories, heart rate, so if you have a polar heart rate strap, then also your time, left-hand corner gear, right-hand corner, how far you've ridden. All right, let's bring it up one more gear and start to bring up that cadence just a little bit more as you're riding. Now, note your watts. Check out where your watts are right now and how does it feel. It should feel around easy to moderate in terms of intensity, and that's going to match up with your watts. Beautiful. Holding it right there. Now, thinking about that pedal position, you can notice, if you focus more on one leg or the other, you might notice a difference in the watts as well. Really try to even that out. Holding it there, nice and steady. Beautiful. All right, let's pick it up a little bit for the next 30 seconds. Bring up that cadence. Let's bring it up about 10 RPM. 10, 20 if you feel in it. Holding it there. Good. Beautiful. Working on that faster cadence speed, getting that heart rate to slowly increase. The goal really at the end of the warm-up is to make sure that our bodies are warm and that we're both physically and mentally prepared for that workout that's coming up. Good. Holding it there another 10 seconds. Very nice. Five more seconds to go. And now just slow it down slightly. Are you ready for that next set? Let's do it this time, 30 seconds, ready, go. Bring up that cadence a little bit more. Checking it out, noticing your watts. Good. Shoulder blades back and down. Holding it there. You have about 10 more seconds. Good. Keeping it nice and strong. Very nice, now slow it down again. Whew. Can you add two more gears? Ready, let's add two more. Starting to feel that resistance coming up a little bit more. Check out those watts. Every time we add gear, you'll notice that your watt output or your power output is higher. Here we go, 30 seconds right now. Excellent. Hand position, you might want to switch it up or keep it right where it is, nice and comfortable. 15 seconds to go. Holding it there, nice and steady. And 
and release it. Good. Whew. All right. Now, if you want, grab some water. Take a break anytime as we're doing our workout. And we're going to start our first drill today. So this drill is going to be an interval-based drill. We're going to, again, focus on that power output. And we're going to work hard for one minute and then get a break for 30 seconds on the recovery. All right. So I'm shifting slightly back on the saddle. I'm adding three gears. Can you add three gears? Let's start the first minute. Start to pick it up. Ready? And go. Now a minute might seem like a long time. If you want, you can go shorter or you can stick with me for this full minute. Driving those legs up. Shoulder blades back and down. Core activated. You got 45 seconds to go. Now note your watts because the next time we do it, I want you to keep it at the same watts or increase the watt output. Good. 30 seconds on that clock. Let's go. Very nice. The other thing you might want to do is think about, is that speed working for you? You might want to slow down, but increase the gears. That's another option. We have 15 seconds right here. Beautiful. Finish strong. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds. Then I'll give you a break. And time. Beautiful. Now, slow it down. Use that time for recovery. You can get some water. You can sit up a little taller. You even need a little bit of a break through your spine. <sighs> Catch your breath. Recovery is just as important as the work phase. We want to prepare ourselves for the next set. So thinking about where you were last time for watts, for power. Can you do that number again? I bet you can. Ready? Start to pick it up. Here we go. I'm going to add another gear this time. I'm going to try to work a little harder. How about you? Let's go. One minute. Very nice. You can imagine you're out on a beautiful day, riding, enjoying the scenery. Here we go, 45 seconds. Keep it nice and steady. Checking out that power output. What are those wattage is showing? You're there? Good. Here we go. You're halfway through that next set. Let's go, 30 seconds or less. Start to pick it up. Good. Excellent. Last 15 seconds. Big push to the finish that I promise you get a break. Here we go. You're doing great. Less than five and checking it out. Checking out where my watts are so I know next time. And recover. Woo! Did you feel that? I did. Okay, so thinking about what you're gonna do next time. Are you gonna add more gear? Are you gonna add more speed or RPM? up to you. That's the nice thing about working with power. Very individualized in terms of output. Using it. Good. Are you ready to go? I am. Let's add those gears. Ready? Last minute. Hardest one yet. Let's go. Challenge your body. That's a great thing about intervals is that they always have an end point. You know how long they'll be. Here we go. Power. Can you feel it? Very nice. 15 seconds to go. Oh, 45 seconds to go. Ah, I would just kind of almost let you get away with that. Beautiful. Last set. Here we go. Keep it up there. Increase that output. 30 seconds right now. Hang in there. You're doing fantastic. Keep going. Last 15 seconds right now. Big finish because this is the very last one on the set. Woo! Good job. And time. Excellent. Woo! Take a well deserved break. Grab your towel. Grab some water. Active recovery right here. So we're going to move into our next drill after we have this little break. And what we're going to do what is called surges. So we're going to go steady for 45 seconds. Then we're going to really push it for the last 15 seconds. And we're going to do this in a climb. So what I want you to do is 
start to add some resistance and then come off the saddle. Nice and steady. Checking out your position. Right there, beautiful. So on that surge, you're just really going to push hard for 15 seconds. It's like a tack to the top. We've got another little bit of time before we add that in there. You feel those legs working? Now you'll notice my hand position changed to that extended position. Now, ready? Attack. Here we go, 15 seconds. Off the saddle. Keep that body moving nice and smooth. Good, hang in there. Hang in there. You're doing great. And time, excellent. Back to that steady climb for 45 seconds. Now, next time, you could add a little more resistance. You want it? Yeah? All right. Let's do it. One to two gears. Hold it here. Steady. Getting ready for that next set. Now, you'll notice as I'm climbing, not a lot of movement, just natural movement. Side to side. Here we go. Are you ready? Big. Attack now. Go. 15 seconds. 10 seconds to go. You can do it. Check out how power increased as velocity went up. And time. Good. Nice and steady. 45. Here we go. Decision time. Can you add it here? Here we go. One more set. I know you can do it. 30 more seconds. Steady. Feel free to slow it down. You decide. Woo, really starting to feel this. 15 seconds to go. So, last one. Really challenging. Now, add a gear, pick it up, let's go. 15 seconds, right to the top. Wherever that top may be. Good. Hang in there, 10 seconds to go. Less than that, and time, very nice. Lighten it up, come on down, grab some water, well done. Woo! Getting into position for our next set. Now our next drill is called a Tabata drill. The Tabata is alternating work to recovery. The work phase isn't very long and the recovery time isn't very long at all. So when we work, we work hard for a short amount of time, recover for a short amount of time. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna get into an attack position off the saddle then we're gonna sit down and slow it right down for 10 seconds and then do it again. Are you with me? Yeah? All right, so here's the catch. We have to do it eight times, all right? Eight times is the goal, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds recovery. Getting ready for that first set. Start to pick it up, bring up that cadence. Check out what your wattage is, add resistance. Start to bring up that speed. Here we go, coming out of the saddle, go. And now sit down and hold it here. Hold it here, beautiful. Woo, nice and challenging. Get that intensity up. Five seconds to go. And time, that's one set. Slow it right down, check out the power. See if you can now match it on the next set. Ready, out of the saddle, go. Quick attack, sit down, pedal hard. 20 seconds right here. Second set happening right now. And time, slow it down, whoo. Slow it right down, use that break. 
funny thing, breaks seem to get shorter. All right, come out of the saddle, go. Third set, sit it down, hard. Boom. Feeling that intensity. Working it out. Pushing that cardiovascular system. Five seconds. And time. Woo! So down, three down. You notice I'm not touching resistance. I'm just slowing it down. Number four, out of the saddle. Sit it down. Good, nice and solid. Go, go, go. We're almost at that halfway mark for this drill. 10 seconds to go. And time. Woo. Slow it down. Getting ready. Set number five. Fast and furious. Ready? Out of the saddle. Go. Sit it down. Pedal hard. Five. Are you keeping track? Make sure I'm keeping track as well. I don't want to do too many extra. Here we go. Five seconds to go. And slow. Good. Woo. Number six. Is your power staying there? Consistent? Yeah. Here we go. Out of the saddle. Take it down. Hold that intensity. Nice and hard. Drive up those legs. Pull it up. Hang in there. And time. Woo! Only two to go. Only two. Slowing it down. Out of the saddle, go. Sit it down hard. Pull up strong. Ten more seconds. And time. Woo! One more set. You can do it. I'm going to that as well. I'm going to work hard. Last one. Here we go. Out of the saddle. Sit it down. Pedal. Drive it up. Excellent. Keep going. Finish off just like you started. Noting that power. Five seconds. Come on. And time. Nicely done. Slow it down. Finish it off. Five seconds. Woo! And time. Lighten it up. Sit up nice and tall. Grab some water. Woo Here we go now. A little bit of recovery time. Really important. Then we're going to move into our next drill. This time we're going to do a pyramid drill. Work to recovery. Flat. The work phase is going to get longer each time. I want you to try to set your power, your watt output to be the same, even though the duration is getting longer. Can you do that? All right, let's do it. Bring up the resistance. 30 seconds. Come on, hard. Hardest power you can get right here. Here we go. Check it out. Excellent. Come on, 15 seconds. Hard. So the recovery time will stay the same, but the work time will increase. Hold it there. And time. Now, so it right down, lighten up that resistance. 30 seconds on the clock. Nice long recovery time. And then work again. So this second set, one minute. Let's see if you can sustain that power output right where it was. Starting to increase it, starting to feel it build up, so you're ready for it, right at the clock. Ready, and now, go. One minute, bring it up, two, three, maybe four gears. One minute, nice and long. Hand position, whatever's comfortable for you. Shoulder blades back and down. Drive those legs up. Get those heels down. Engage their core. Anytime we activate through the core, we're gonna be stronger whatever move we're doing. Beautiful, keep going. Nice 
intensity. Hold it there, you have another 30 seconds. Don't let those watts drop down. Keep them up, you can do it. You can do it. Looking great. Feeling good. Excellent, 15 seconds to go. Last 10, here you go, you can do it. I feel recovery right now. Ah, well done. Slow it down. 30 seconds. Now we've done 30, we've done 60. The next set is gonna be 90 seconds. Are you ready for it? Yeah, good. Increasing three, four, maybe five gears. 90 seconds, keeping it there. Checking out those power output numbers. Getting them up there. Let's do it. Start to pick it up. Right now, 90 seconds, go. You can always decide halfway through that maybe the speed or the cadence is too quick. But if you wanna keep the power up there, add a few more gears. Here we go. Strong. Excellent. You should feel that intensity. You should feel the challenge in the legs as you're doing this. It's almost like you're climbing in that saddle and the incline is increasing as we go along. Whew. You're over a third of the way. Excellent job. Interval training is a fantastic way to really work hard and then be able to do it again. Burning lots of calories, challenging the cardiovascular system, all those really good benefits. 30 seconds to go. Come on. Big strong finish. Come on. 20 seconds. Come on, you can do it. You're doing fantastic. Time. Use the recovery. Don't ease up, just recover. Good, good. Now, we have one more set to go. This is going to be our last little power burst right at the end. So it's our power sprint. For the next two minutes, I want you to go as hard as you can. Highest power output you can do. Whatever you can maintain and sustain. Here we go. Two minutes starts now. Add some gears. Now, you may want to choose to come down a little lower. If you do, slide a little bit forward on that saddle. Right there. Good alignment through the spine. Woo! Check out that power output. We call this our time trialing position. Holding it here. Good. You're doing great. Almost to that finish line. I want you to imagine there is a one lane bridge. You gotta get to that bridge. Here we go. Minute and a half, less than that. Keep it consistent if you want. Switch it up. Shift back, elbows down. Right there. Keep going. You and me, you're doing awesome. Here we go. Less than a minute to go. Come on, here we go. Driving those legs right up. Intensity is there. Watts are high. Can you get to your body weight? Watts. Not your birth weight. <laughs> what your body weight is in watts. Let's go. You can do it. Challenge yourself. Say yes, I can. Good, good. Excellent. Almost done. Almost done. Good, good, good. You can keep it going. Then we're going to slow it down a little bit. Last little bit. Keep it up. Very nice. 25 seconds to go. Come on. 25. Keep the focus. 15 on the clock. It's yours. You can do it. Last 10. Woo! And 
time. Very nice. Slow it right down. Bring it up nice and tall. Decrease that resistance. Woo! To the back. Grab a drink of water. Just relax those shoulders. Slowing down that pedal speed. Letting that heart rate come on down. Good. Breathing nice and easy. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. If you feel comfortable, just push yourself a little further back on the bike. Bringing those legs up. And just slowing it down nice and easy. Good. Hold it here. Just take those shoulders. Start to roll them back. Good, catching your breath, thinking about how hard you just worked. Good. And hold it there. Now take a deep breath, inhale all the way up, and then exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up, and exhale, slowing it right down. Just add some resistance, bring your gear shifter up, and then come on off the bike. So you can just unclip or just come into a standing position. Let's just start with an easy squat, down and up. So we're taking it down, pushing it up. We're just reversing being in that cycling position. Let's do that one more time. Good. And hold it here. Extend long. Just lengthen out nice and long through the spine. Good. Bring it center. Let's just bring that heel in front and just hinge down. Good. Nice and long. Extend that arm out. Stretching it out towards me. Turn the head. Nice. So stretching through that lat, through the neck. Good. And bring it all the way up. Now just grab onto your bike, taking that leg across. Sit back and hold that stretch, opening the arm nice and long. There, sitting down a little deeper into that position. Now come on up, hanging onto the bike again if you like. Just reach for that foot. You want to think about dropping the knee right down towards the floor, keeping those knees in nice and close together, stretching through that quadricep. Holding, stable, nice and long through that upper body. Inhale. Let's do that again. Inhale and exhale. Very nice. Dropping that foot down, let's switch it around to the other side. Draw that heel in front, hinge back nice and long, extending the arm all the way out towards me. And then just turn the head, holding it here, using that breath. Inhale to prepare, and then exhale to move a little deeper into the stretch. Very nice. Come on up, bringing this foot across, and now just sit back into that glute stretch. Whew. Getting that well-deserved stretch. Inhale, and exhale, and just sit down a little deeper. Nice and long through the spine. And come on up, reaching for the foot, dropping that knee down. Lengthening through the torso, opening up nice and long. If you like, you can extend that arm open, stretching across the chest, or bring it down and just hold on. Knees are in alignment. Ah, and release that. Take those shoulders, roll them all the way back, and just turn towards your bike. Place one foot just up on the bike itself, just on that stance, holding it there. Pressing that heel down and just lean in towards the bike, stretching out through the calf. And let that go. Let's switch it around to the other side. So that toe is up, just coming slightly forward, holding that stretch. You did such a great job in your workout today. Bringing it all the way back. Take those shoulders back. Good. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And I hope you'll join me again in another cycling workout.